The world tells you that you're unique. I said I made you all for my image. And I love you the same. So every time you think that you're different from somebody else, just remember that each and every one of you have character that comes from a part of me. I gave you all different gifts and talents, but they are still my gifts and talents. So even the very things that you can do have everything to do with me. I deserve the glory because you aren't anything special without me, but the world tells you that you are unique in and of yourself. Even if I talk about those of you who are supposedly Christian, then you are still talking about your individuality when I told you that you are just a part of my body. Everything in my word points you back to being a part of the whole, but you got so much of a hole in your heart from your insecurities, pain, and trauma that you will let the world tell you that you can feel it by being proud of yourself. I told you pride comes before fall. I told you to deny yourself, not learn to accept yourself. I told you to believe in me because you are weak and vulnerable. But you keep letting them all tell you to believe in yourself and keep thinking that you are unique. So now I guess you think that you're strong without me. Everything in this world that I made is in shambles because y'all keep doing everything backwards from the way that I say that it should be done. There is nothing new up under my sun because every... Generation of y'all keep doing and saying all of the same things, conforming to the social norms of the culture and forgetting that I am where everything starts and ends. Y'all keep teaching each other to focus on yourselves and your own individuality rather than how much I made all of your hearts essentially look like everyone else's. You are all looking for the same things, validation, reassurance, encouragement, comfort, peace, love, a sense of belonging and acceptance outside of yourselves. But this world just keeps teaching you to look on the outward things. And that's why y'all keep spending so much time looking at each other on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, instead of looking for me. Y'all keep looking at what people look like and what they can do when the individuals that I use are the ones that know that they can't do anything without me. The world that I made with my own hands has so much racism, classism, and sexism in it because people like all of y'all want to think that this life is all about what you want to think that this life is all about following your own heart, being who you want to be, and doing what you want to do, and now everybody's own motives has them going against each other. That is exactly why everyone keeps competing with one another, focusing on who's best instead of where y'all got it from. I don't care how athletic, how creative, or how innovative any of you are because when I look at you I'm just watching myself y'all keep comparing LeBron, Kobe and Jordan to one another but I made all three of them so when we talking about who's better then y'all better recognize that every ounce of their greatness came from me I could have placed any of their abilities into another man and done the very same thing with him if that is what I wanted to do because there is nothing that I can't do but y'all are limited by what I allow all I've been asking for y'all to do for your whole lives is look up instead of looking in the mirror. You all, each and every one of you, get your mind, body, and abilities from me. Everything that you can do points back to me. So the only reason why you are special is because each and every one of you is special to me. The word unique is defined as the only one of its kind unlike anything else. But I made a whole nation out of one man. And therefore, the only difference between you and anybody else will always be me. You all think that individuality is important, but I told y'all think more of others than yourself. And then the world comes right behind me and tells you to lift up yourself. The only reason why anybody has to encourage themselves or love themselves is because y'all not comforting each other like I told y'all to. Husbands are not covering their wives. Parents are not covering their children because everybody in this world has weaknesses, flaws, and insecurities and shortcomings, but they all can be covered by me. Everything that you are reflects Jesus, my son. And then when you are close enough to him, he'll show you that all people are just like you. And our spirit will begin leading you closer to other people instead of how unique you are. I made all of you to bring glory to me. So the next time you think that you are doing something great, just know that you ain't seen nothing yet. Everything that you can do creatively points back to me, but you love to point at yourself and think that you did it. 
I only made you to worship my sovereignty. But sometimes you can think that you are too special to just come to me humbly and say that everything that I am is because of you, God. I am not my own. So to close this, so to close this excerpt out, I just want to tell y'all that I put some scriptures in the description. Just in case you wanted to, you know, dissect my words and see whether or not there's any validity to what I'm saying. Because I know that this world tells us that we are unique and that we're so different and that all these different things, you have to find your individuality. But in reality, we all belong to the same God. And that's all I'm trying to say when I say that we are not unique. I'm just saying that we belong to the very same God. I don't care what color you are. I don't care um, what type of person you may see out here doing things that you may consider evil, bad, whatever. We all came from the same God. He made us, each and every one of us. I love y'all from here to heaven. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like the content, like, and uh, all that. I love y'all from here to heaven, man. We out.